Hi, my name is Robbie Madden um, from the National Cancer Institute. So I think oligometastatic disease was very well defined by the PASP panel at ESMO. And in patients with you know, conventional imaging, CT and bone scan findings, I think the nomenclature of less than three or four lesions makes sense. Once you get into PET scans, I think we have very little data to go on, and that was again highlighted at, by the ESMO panel, in particular Dr. Ost. The trials that have been done have used the definitions of one to three lesions on PSMA PET uh, for eligibility. So I think for right now, that's the best definition we have to go on as far as what is oligometastatic disease on PSMA PET. But this field is very evolving. And I think that the appeal the panel made, and I, I agree with it, is that we need more patients on trials with oligometastatic prostate cancer. There are many trials out there, and that's probably more appropriate than treating them uh, without data, which is what is happening frequently now.